let's move away from the NFL for a second and talk about college football um, and the draft in particular. We've got a lot of teams. We just talked about quarterbacks for a long time. And to continue it just a little bit more, how many quarterbacks? I think the, the common consensus for quarterbacks in the first round right now is four. Mm -hmm. Um, but it could be more, could be less. What do you think? How many quarterbacks in the first round? I'm going to say, um, in the entire first round or the top 10, we'll, we'll start with the entire first round. Four, four quarterbacks. I'll say four. four. I think it could go, I think it could go to five. I'm going to say four right now. Yeah, that's fair. Now top 10. Three, three. Yeah. I'm I think thinking... Young and Stroud for me are easy top five. Young and Stroud are are solidified top ten but picks. I'm hearing that it's a lot happen. of there's some GMs who have Will Levis as their top quarterback on the board, which is crazy to me. But I, I don't see it. I don't see it because he just hasn't been very successful. But at the same time, he's got a big frame, which implies solid, which I think could make him a solid pocket passer. But he's also got a good legs, a good arm. I can see why teams would like him. So I think some someone's going to take him top ten. Yeah, I'm not attached to Will Levis, so I'm going to go with two quarterbacks in the top 10. I think Young and Stroud are locks in that top 10, uh, and one of them will likely go number one overall to Houston. Um, Levis, it's, it's a toss-up for me. His stats don't look great. He's not doing much in that SEC. He's got 2,400 yards, 19 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions, which just isn't very good. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, it's it's like it's like I'm not going to say it's bad, but... He for to be a top ten quarterback, I feel like he should be doing a whole lot better. Um, mm -hmm. That's that's the big one for me. But I do you agree that a quarterback will go number one overall? Yes, because the Texans are going to have the first pick, and they're going to take be the Younger Texans. Stroud. I think they'll take Young. Younger think, Stroud, yeah. I I I they, they got to go quarterback. They bench they bench their quarterback. They're going with a two quarterback yeah, system I, right now. If they don't weird. take quarterback. That would be the shock of the century. As good as Will Anderson and Jalen Carter all are, they're still yeah. taking quarterback. So now, now, why do you think Bryce Young at number one? Um, I think he's more NFL ready. He's really good through his progressions. He's a really good pocket mobility, and he's able to do um get outside the pocket as well. Really accurate. He's a very NFL ready quarterback who's been playing at Alabama, and this isn't a common theme with Alabama, but not with a lot of talent. He isn't as lucky as guys like Tua and Mac Jones, where he's had a lot of NFL feature NFL receivers at um, the position. I mean, he's got NFL receivers, but not like receivers like Jerry Judy or um, Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddell, yeah. all those guys. He doesn't really have anyone who's going to make a serious difference in the league, and he's still been having a uh, Heisman-type season. He won the Heisman in um, last year with um, – he had Jameson Williams and Mechie, who mm -hmm. are, I think, uh, obviously James Williams is really good, and John Mechie is solid as well. But the next year, he didn't. He still managed to have a pretty good season, even with yeah. that drop off in town. So I think they'll look at that. They'll, um, I think, um, Houston will be like, we want that guy. Although I wouldn't be surprised if they want Stroud either, because he's a taller, more typical pocket passer with again, yeah, good pocket presence. He, um, very very accurate as well, but. I would say young. I would. I. I think they'll do young. They'll. Um. They'll yeah. Take young. I agree with you. Bryce Young is the more NFL ready passer to me. Mm -hmm. Um. But does it concern you at all how small Bryce Young is? Um. He's six foot, one hundred ninety four pounds. That's it really would small. if that affected his pocket presence, but I don't think it does too much from watching him at Alabama. Mm -hmm. He's really good at manipulating and moving around the pocket. He's very accurate. I don't think he lets those big bodies in. Um at the line of scrimmage really bother him. And I think we've seen other small quarterbacks succeed. It's more about how they respond to pressure. And Bryce Young is very good at um, under pressure. And I think that was, re that's really the main concern. The other main concern is um, injuries, which is why um, I think that this obviously some, why he has to probably build up, um, build some muscle going into the NFL. Cause he's going to have, but at the same time you're in the sec, you're already going to have a lot of NFL talent at defensive line going after him. So I think, at the end of the day, he um that won't be something that, that um deters the team. Well, um in the top five from taking him. Yeah, I completely agree. Bryce Young just feels like the better pick for me. More NFL ready. We've seen what he can do with great receivers, and we've seen what he can do with not as great receivers. Um, mm -hmm. you know, he plays against, as you said, top tier defenders in the SEC, and I think that you know he's 
of the two, he's less likely to be phased by the jump to the NFL. I think he just seems like such a pro ready quarterback when you see him play. Um, and I know Alabama had, you know, not as successful of a season this season, uh, not even in the uh, playoffs, but I think, you know, that's, that wasn't due to Bryce Young's performances at all. 